I'm Ben. I'm, I'm Elliot. Elliot. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm Jacob. I'm Elliot. I'm Lucy. For those of you who haven't met us, um, my name is Anita McCarthy. My husband John and I and our four kids are serving in Papua New Guinea uh, in a center called Ukarampa. If you don't understand Latin or Hebrew, then you are hearing or reading the Bible in a language that you understand and the work of Bible translation has uh, impacted you in some way. Accessibility, of course, to scriptures in our own language is important, but even having accessibility to people who cannot read uh, in their own language or in any language at all. Uh, the work of Bible translation, thanks to new technology, has been working on audio Bible translations. And we've seen the impact of many people who uh, have preferentially been choosing audio Bibles, which are very small devices, kind of like an MP3 player, where they can have the entire Bible on a very small device that they can take out to their gardens or to wherever they go and hear and listen to it and charge it via solar panel. So it's amazing to see how uh, the mix of, of translation with technology has worked together to make it more and more accessible to everyone around the world. And you may be wondering, how on earth uh, can two teachers impact Bible translation? <laughs> Sorry about our cat. So in order to have a center here and a place where people can come and work on Bible translation, stay stationed in Ukarampa, and then go out to their villages or bring their Papua New Guinean co-translators back to Ukarampa to work. There needs to be a center. And the school is one of the most important parts of this center. The translators who live here have kids, and they want their kids to get a quality Christ-centered education. So in order for them to continue to live in Papua New Guinea, the Bible translation work is happening. They need to have a place they can trust where they can send their kids. Um, so we are there to teach sciences and we also get to mentor and disciple and love on them in numerous ways outside of the classroom. While teaching, mentoring, you know, is our role here, we acknowledge that, that we're supporting ultimately the larger role of the Bible translation here in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I have many students in my classes whose parents are translators and uh, yeah, one I can think of right now, her parents spend the uh, most of the year down in the Sepik region of Papua New Guinea and she is here staying with another family and she's in my physics class and uh, I think of what a privilege it is that I get to teach her and uh, support her family as they do the work of uh, oral Bible translation actually because that is a particular area that has very low literacy rates. So yeah, that is something that we get to be directly tied to Bible translation in Papua New Guinea.